the heart. According to some studies, it's the first organ to react to events in our life. How many of you have suffered from heart pain due to love issues? How many of you have recovered from heartbreak? Good. So yes, certainly we have recovered from, from it over time, right? But there is another heart pain called cardiovascular disease that cannot be cured or healed over time by its, by its own. But I believe I have the solution for this problem. Nano medicines. Aiming to give to the heart and drugs an all new life. But what are nanomedicines? So nanomedicines are tiny particles of such a small size that we cannot see them with our naked eyes. We need a special microscope to see them. They are 1,000 times smaller than the thickness of our hair, or even smaller. The typical size of the nanomedicines is to a football as the football is to the planet Earth, very small. When these tiny particles are combined with medicines, they form the so-called nanomedicines. The great advantage of these nanomedicines is that they can carry and deliver drugs to the right places in the body and treat disease, such as, such as the heart disease. So according to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, with more than 17 million deaths every year. That is about more than uh, three times the population of Finland. But let me tell you first how did I became inspired and very interested in research. So it all goes back to my childhood and one particular movie and TV show. TV show was about a guy called MacGyver. You probably will remember him. So he used a Swiss army knife and science to fix all the problems he encountered. At my early age, I was also very interested in science fiction movies. The science fiction movie that inspired me the most was The Fantastic Voyage. Here, a bunch of doctors tried to help a friend by embarking on an amazing trip inside the human body. They did this by fitting themselves into a ship that was then reduced to such a small size that could be injected inside of the, the blood vessels of a person. So these both examples gave me the inspiration to become a scientist, to find innovative ways to fix the problems on, on a nano micro scale inside of the body. So at first, I was very interested to understand how nanomedicines were targeted to cancer cells. Then, a, a personal tragedy took place when my father passed away from a heart attack. As a scientist, I started to think that we could use nanomedicines to treat the patients suffering from cardiovascular disease. Currently, there is treatments, but no cure for cardiovascular disease. The existing therapies are still insufficient to treat the cardiovascular disease. Also, the annual costs of cardiovascular disease treatments are very expensive. So, what are the challenges that reduce the success of these current treatments? Well, after a heart muscle damage, the heart tissue cannot be regenerated on its own. 
we also have a very limited time to treat disease. The early, the better. And then also barriers that the medicines have to, f to overcome in order to reach the damaged site in the heart. So, um, why are nanomedicines so special? First, they can be tailored to the disease and the needs of the patient. Second, they can carry and target drugs to the right place inside of the body, overcoming barriers. Third, they can be administered to patients orally or even injected intravenously. Fourth, because nanomedicines can be targeted to the right cells, they can significantly lower the side effects of traditional medicines and still be more efficient. So we can reduce the doses 10 times, 100 times more than the normal medicines. Finally, nanomedicines can be made biocompatible and biodegradable, so harmless to the human body that they break down into pieces and disappear from the body after the job is done. Just like a sugar cube inside of your cup of tea or coffee. Nanomedicines can also increase the survival rate of the patients in the future, moving towards a personalized medicine and treatments, because we are treating the disease, not the symptoms. But how actually the nanomedicines work? So imagine our bloodstream it's like a motorway. The nanomedicines are like cars driving the drugs from different places inside of the body. But how do they actually reach the right place in the body? So we can program the nanomedicines with a GPS-like system so that they can find the, the right receptors in damaged heart and deliver the drug specifically to that damaged site. Just like the right key on the right lock. So what can we do? We can take advantage of these smart materials or nanomedicines and use them to revolutionize the healthcare and fight against disease by inducing the regeneration of the heart tissue. With these tiny to the naked eye particles and treat the heart disease, such as, for example, the myocardial infarction by delivering the drugs that will trigger such regeneration. This will certainly increase the survival rate of the patients and give them hope and a healthy life for the future because we are treating the disease, not the symptoms. This treatment, it's not a life treatment like in many other therapies. It is finished as soon as the heart regeneration takes place. So as a scientist, I believe we can change the way we treat the patients in the future. But this is not, this is not a work, to, uh, there is a need to work together with the scientists, clinicians, chemists and so on. Together we can design the best and most powerful nanomedicines to treat the heart disease overcoming barriers. This will certainly 
increases the probability to treat patients in the future. It's obviously a very challenging task, but there is hope in the future that we can say that not only we can recover from heartbreak, from uh, uh, emotional damage, but also from cardiovascular disease and the heart damage from a heart attack. So as a scientist, I want to use nanomedicines and develop nanomedicines as a, my Swiss army knife. This will make us the next MacGyvers with the right tools to fight against disease, driving the medicines on a fantastic voyage to treat the right disease and to target the right cells inside of the body. So the reality is now. No more science fiction. Nanomedicines are here and now to treat the patients. Thank you very much.